Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and it is another episode of Knit Happens. I don't remember which one, um, but it's episode something. And uh, I first want to thank all of my new subscribers, all of my returning subscribers. I hope you enjoy what I have to offer. Um, this is an episode that I do every week, and um, it's to keep everybody who I double dog dared accountable, uh, and me accountable too, for um, the double dog dare of making a knit blanket. I heard uh, when I started um, learning to knit, um, I kept hearing people say, oh, I want to learn how to knit. I want to learn how to knit. I want to learn how to knit. So I was like, well, let's put your money where your fingers are and let's let's get to learning. So I picked a, a very easy pattern. And um, it's basically knits, purls, yarn overs, and knit two togethers. Yeah, that, I think that is about it. Um, we cast on and pretty soon we're going to be binding off the the blanket is almost done so um we are working the second half of the blanket and oh i hope you didn't bring anything in okay let me see your mouth hey for snippers for symphony come here oh okay your mouth is empty i didn't want to go chase a bird or a vole again that mysterious bowl we have not found. Um, I honestly think that uh, Persephone caught it. Um, there's no droppings anywhere. Um, and uh, I've left some food down. Um, we set mouse traps out and nothing. We did have one snap, but I think that was the way... Um, we put it together. That was the first one we had put together. So, um, let's get back to uh, the knitting. Uh, let's see. All of my knitting friends uh, should have finished round uh, 63 through 66 uh, for today which is Friday the 14th. I'm almost positive. I think so anyway. Um, and it involved yarn over, knit two togethers, um, all the way down except for the first and last eight stitches. Make sure you guys remembered that, that it was knit eight and not knit seven. Okay, so, and then we just had to knit the rest of them. So, we technically have one, two, three, four, five, six more weeks. So, it will be like on the ninth that we cast off and not the seventh. Okay, she doesn't have, I need to, well, she's in here, so I don't have to worry about closing the door. It's raining outside. And uh, she she doesn't care if it's raining or not. She'll go out anytime. Snow, freeze it. She doesn't care. Okay, so the needles that I am using are number 15, 10 millimeter, 36 inches. Uh, yes. Okay. These are not interchangeable. And, um, so here we go. We have started a new section now, and it looks like that. Okay, so that's the, I think, I think it looks like that from the other side too. So yeah. It looks like that either side. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, uh, this isn't going to fit my son. 
who is six feet tall, but that is okay. He can use it to watch a movie on the couch with us or something. Okay, so the yarn I am using for this is a, okay, Caron Anniversary Cake um, in the color Grape. It is 35.5 ounces, um, 1,061 yards. And I should have used almost all of it, but um, I might end up using two-thirds. So um, I thought this was going to be a one-skein wonder blanket, but it's not. So I'm going to have to maybe make a pillow um, for him to match or, you know, just something to lean up against on the, the couch or I don't know. I'll see what he wants. But he does know I'm making this for him. Uh, so it's not a surprise Christmas present. Okay, so let me zip this up real quick. I'm watching you, Persephone. You know, Dawn's going to be very sad that she didn't get to see you. So do you want to come say hi? No? Okay. Dawn's going to think I'm just leaving you out of everything. Oh, no, that's split. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's all right. I can maybe tape it together. I'm not sure. Okay, so I do have another knit project, and it is my knit socks. Um, I am doing the vanilla sock from the Crazy Sock Lady. Uh, and um, just want to make sure that I don't lose that. It's a uh, what do you uh, vanilla socks on nine inch circulars? Uh, and I need a hundred grams, four hundred sixty three yards of fingering weight. So this is what the socks are gonna look like. Just regular, plain, old socks. Alrighty. And I am still working on the cuff. And I don't like the way the cuff is. It's not, oops, oops, I'm just dropping everything. Um, Alrighty. The cuff is coming out looser than I thought it was going to. And um, so since this is my test sock, uh, I'm, I might need to go down a needle size. I think I used the biggest ones of uh, this. And my ball band is hiding around here somewhere. But I do have another... Um, The yarn I'm using is um, Opal, uh, Wolfgang and Frederick Zwerger, something like that. So this is another one that I have, and this is the this is what mine looks like. So there's some teals and some greens, and white and purples. And browns. Okay, so this is, I have done, I actually think I've done 12. I need to count. But I have marked off 11 rounds. Hmm. So yes, 11 rounds, and that is what I have done so far. Uh, when I get to round 21, that's when I'll just start doing the knit stitch. Um, I uh, will see if my cuff is 
too big, but I think it is, it's very, very loose. And, um, I don't, it's weird. I'm a loose knitter and a tight crocheter. I'm not quite sure. So worst case scenario is that I have a sock that won't stay up because the cuff is too loose. It's all good. I'm learning and that's the process of learning, but I'm not going to take it out. Um, because, uh, I don't know if that's the case or not. I guess we'll find out soon. So I do have marked down 11 so far of, um, the stitches, the, the written pattern, um, is available on Ravelry and, uh, you can, um, to, for $2, you can purchase the pattern. Um, uh, I've heard wonderful things about the crazy sock lady. Uh, so there we go. I'm taking my limited knowledge of making a sock into making a, a regular sock and not a boot sock. So I will link the pattern below in Ravelry. Um, I will link the video tutorial that the crazy sock lady made um, for this um, in the description box. And I will link below the, um, the free pattern that we are using for the Double Dog Dare knit blanket. Um, yes, it's a free pattern. So, um... There's a $2 charge for the PDF uh, from Ravelry. The tutorial is free on YouTube for the socks. So um, that is all I have. So thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.